vibrato adds shine, excitement, and expression to your singing. Let me ask you three questions. Number one, is your vibrato healthy? Number two, is it consistent? And number three, you may not have thought of this, is your vibrato appropriate for the style of music you're singing? You see, it's not enough to have vibrato. It must be appropriate for the style. You better watch. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. 29 years of teaching voice, 41 years of studying voice, all different styles. I take serious vocal technique and make it fun and simple. Quick review. Vibrato is the result in the balance of airflow, freedom at the larynx, and is also affected by your resonance. If you have not yet uncovered your natural vibrato and are not able to sing with it, I would go and watch my first two videos on how to uncover your vibrato that includes lots of exercises. I'll include all links in the description below. In straight tone, the vocal folds are more tense in the way they come together. Now, I don't mean that as a bad thing because like I always say, there has to be a certain amount of the good tension in order to even get the vocal folds to vibrate and close properly. But when we sing with vibrato, there is more a sense of release in the vocal folds. There is also a rhythmic pulsation at the larynx, a type of rocking that is not present in straight tone. Healthy vibrato enhances and beautifies, intensifies the tone. It does not draw away from the tone. Now, just because you have vibrato doesn't mean it's healthy vibrato. So we're going to talk about the two types of incorrect vibrato. The first is the tremolo, sometimes called a bleat. It's when the vibrato is too fast and the variance in pitch is too small, like this. Ah, ah. Oftentimes this happens because singers are trying to create the vibrato by machine gunning and all we get is a fake vibrato. A tremolo is caused by holding and tension. So you could be holding your breath, locking, tight jaw, tight tongue, larynx sitting too high, tight throat. If these are your issues, I have videos with links in the description below. All of this affects your vibrato. Another type of incorrect vibrato is the wobble. Some people call it the warble. It's when the variation in pitch is too wide and the speed is too slow. Sometimes you can't even tell what pitch the singer is singing because the wobble is so wide, like this. This is often caused by the vocal folds being too loose and floppy with insufficient resistance to the airflow. Remember, I said we need the good kind of tension to get the vocal folds to vibrate freely. The main solution for a vocal wobble is breath support and not overweighting the voice. I'll link my videos below. Now, sometimes we hear an irregular or unstable vibrato because the singer might be singing fine and then all of a sudden in the middle of their vibrato, they get tight, they lift the larynx, they stop the breath, they overblow the breath and so we might get this. And then they often go out of tune. So remember, when we sing, we want consistency, including consistency in your vibrato. This is the result, once again, in the balance of airflow and laryngeal freedom and also affected by your resonance. So now we're going to talk about the different types of vibrato used in different styles of singing. And then we're going to do some exercises. In solo classical singing, vibrato is an essential part of the tone. We may not hear it in fast moving passages, but certainly in sustained tones, we need vibrato. The only exception would be if you are singing Renaissance and earlier music. So here's an example. Caro mio ben, 
a nice, peaceful vibrato. The vibrato adds to the beauty and shimmer of the tone. Now it's important to note that in classical singing, the larynx typically sits lower than in popular styles. So this affects the vibrato by making it a bit wider, but never a wobble. There is more of this rocking at the larynx. Now in pop singing, vibrato is more often an ornament to the tone. So sometimes the singer will sing with vibrato consistently on held notes, but oftentimes we hear straight tone to vibrato. The sustained note might be straight for 50% and then vibrato for the last 50%. They may, may let the vibrato in at 75%. It might be at 90% depends upon what kind of sound and mood the singer wants to create. The straight tone adds a type of musical tension and the vibrato relieves that tension. It is especially exciting on the big held money notes. Adelaide. Also, because in pop singing, the larynx sits either neutral or a bit high. This limits the amount of rocking and the pitch variation and the speed is a bit faster. Once again though, never a tremolo. Even if we don't start with straight tone to vibrato in pop, the vibrato is still narrower like this. Just like me, they long to be close to you. Now here's an example of how the resonance and height of the larynx will affect the vibrato. I'm going to sing something very bright and with a higher larynx, see what happens. Sherry baby. I love that show, The Jersey Boys. You see, the vibrato was a lot faster and narrower. Now another style is musical theater where, especially in contemporary theater, the voice is supposed to sound natural, like an extension of speech. This means the vibrato cannot draw attention to itself or take away from the speech-like clarity. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of anything. In musical theater, typically the larynx is neutral to slightly higher, to a bit higher than that, depending upon the style. So in jazz, the tone is often darker. The larynx will sit slightly lower to create the smooth and smoky, sexy style. So there will be more rocking at the larynx, which means a wider vibrato than in pop, but never a wobble. Stormy weather. Keeps raining all the time. Now there are other types of music which we don't have time to go into today, such as rock, folk, country, Indian music, Chinese music. Just know that every style of music has its own unique color and type of vibrato. So it is now time for our vocal exercises. You choose whatever style of singing you like to do and just take one note and then go up in a half step, slowly speeding up, then hold. And you want to feel that gentle rocking or movement at the larynx. Let's give it a try. Not no fake vibrato, no machine gunning, okay, no tremolo, and no wobble. Just a nice, peaceful, rocking sensation. Let's do it up another half step. Here we go. Okay. Or 
four. We can go up a half step, down a half step. I'll do it down here for the men, but let's go, everybody. Uh, one more. If you hold your breath and you get tight in the throat, you are more likely going to have a tremolo. If you are too loose in the body and too floppy in the throat, you are more likely to have a wobble. If you go back and forth between the two, you are more likely to have irregular vibrato. If you have trouble releasing into your vibrato and can mainly just sing straight tone, then you are likely tense at the vocal folds and the way they come together. If you are serious about working on your vibrato, you must record yourself. Remember, we cannot hear ourselves accurately when we sing. So in order to be your own teacher in your practice sessions, record yourself. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. Vibrato adds professionalism and polish to your singing. Master your vibrato and go from mediocre to exciting. I hope you've enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and keep mastering your vibrato. And I'll see you again very soon.